Welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn useful Resolve tips and tricks in about five minutes. In the last video on new features, I didn't have time to cover the new things happening in the Fairlight page, but I can't leave you all hanging. So in this episode, we're gonna rectify that. So I'll just show you the mechanics of these tools. That way you'll be equipped to try them out on your own. The first thing I'm happy to see is that Blackmagic Design has fixed the ADR panel. So now, when you play back your various takes, it actually plays back the take you want. Unfortunately, you still have to manually remove bad takes from the timeline. So hopefully they will add a button soon that will choose the good take and remove the rest in one click. Next, I want to talk about the stereo fixer effect. Occasionally you'll get a recording or sound effect that just sounds off. And this plugin can really help. It provides controls for balancing the left and right channels independently, swapping your channels, isolating channels, and even balancing a mid-side mic configuration. This is incredibly useful when working with stereo tracks. And currently this is only a stereo effect, so it has limited functionality in multi-channel tracks and doesn't work at all on mono tracks. However, it does have the ability to force your mono signal into both stereo channels for output. To do so, you add your mono source to a stereo track, then drop the effect on it. In the default stereo setup, your mono source will only be output to one ear. However, if you click the mono signal button, your source will now be mapped through both channels. Before this tool, you would have to right click and choose clip attributes and manually map the source to both channels and I found that to be buggy and unreliable. However, this tool gets the job done reliably in about two clicks. And while we're on the subject of simplifying things, you now have the ability to group tracks. Now this is a very similar idea to creating submixes, but it's a lot simpler. All you need to do is click this field in the mixer panel and add your track to one of the groups. When you do so, a new channel strip will appear on the far right allowing you to adjust the volume slider of the whole group at once, which is really great when automating. Better yet, these tracks will maintain their volume relationship to one another. Very nice. Now you should be aware that these groups are limited in their controls, so you can't apply effects, equalization, or anything else to the group as a whole like you can with a submix. And finally, I'll wrap up with a very quick new feature. You can now select multiple clips in the timeline and apply effects to all of them at once. Now, depending on your workflow, you may find it annoying that each instance of this plugin gets its own dialog. Conversely, you might like it. In either case, one thing that's really gonna help you out is to use the effects presets. You can tune the effect to the first clip, then save a preset and apply it to the rest after the fact. Anyway, that's all we have time for today, but hopefully this video helps you realize that despite its quirks, Fairlight is a really functional tool. I use it regularly to edit podcasts, and I love it, especially as Blackmagic Design continues to improve and refine it. Now, don't forget to reach out to us with anything you'd like us to cover in future episodes. And stay tuned for more great DaVinci Resolve tips, tricks, and tutorials here on our channel or at rippletraining.com. Thanks for watching.